Hey guys, so as you know, the Octavia RS 230, 245, the Tiguan, the Kodiak, all come with this very nice brake setup, big brake setup in front, which are 340mm discs and a giant pad. Unfortunately, it's a little single piston, but that doesn't hinder the performance. And I love my Octavia RS brakes a lot when they were new. They worked really well. They, the brake bite was awesome. A little bit more of VCDS tweaks here and there to get the pedal feel just right for what I like my settings to be. And it was a phenomenal brake. But as the car's age progressed, the brakes got really weird because there was premature wear of the pads. The pads would wear out really fast. Then we had a lot of issues with the uneven wear of the pad. The pad would kind of wear at an angle, not straight. And generally, after like the second or third brake, second brake pad changed, the braking performance just took a nose dive. You know, I wasn't even going on track because of the kids, but still my brake pads would overheat sometime. Uh, my discs would get warped because of obviously the brake pads overheating. And for the longest time, I couldn't figure out what it was and what was causing it. And it was really bothering me because these brakes in European conditions work brilliantly. But somehow in Indian conditions, they have major issues on pad wear, uneven pad wear, uneven disc wear, and also damaging overheating. And the signs of overheating are, you know, you press the pedal a couple of times and you feel the pad slipping and the disc slipping. As well as, you know, the entire braking system just heating up a lot. So on a lot of deep dive inspection of the parts, the components, I seem to have figured out what the issue is. And it's a very simple issue of Volkswagen putting in, a, how do I put it, a motion isolator on one of the slide pins in the front calipers and the other slide pin being a traditional standard metal slide pin. Now, what this motion dampener is supposed to do is to dampen the application and rid of the brake and the rate at which the brake pad pulls away from the disc once you release the brake pedal. It's supposed to work very well in the European conditions where the temperatures are very low and a lot pleasant weather. But in Indian conditions, as, and as I've seen it in my car, the rubber insert on the upper slide pin on these calipers, they heat up and they get stuck. And when they get stuck, you will have uneven wear because the slide pin, which is supposed to push it, push the pad back uh, away from the disc, is now hold up, holding the pad towards the disc because that rubber or some plastic grommet is just holding, has expanded, it has deformed and is holding the slide pin in and preventing the slide pin from moving in and out. So there is a new solution for that. I, it took me a lot, lot of research on how the solution to be, how this problem could be fixed. And the simplest solution is that you get a set of the slide pins on the lower slide pin, which doesn't have the isolator, and use that for the upper slide pin as well. So you basically eliminate that rubber isolator, which is on, which I'll show you, in, which is on the screen. Now, the challenge is that Skoda OEM or Volkswagen OEM does not sell the slide pins for these calipers standalone. And obviously the reason for that, if a slide pin has to be changed in a caliper, it's ideally supposed to be very old and the whole of the slide pin also gets worn out. So as a safety item, Volkswagen recommends that you change the caliper carrier and the slide pin mechanism together. So you don't have any uneven, a new part getting, an, getting uneven wear on an old part. However, in this kind of scenario where my carriers are perfectly fine, the slide pins are, are warped and specifically the rubber piece is messed up. I can't buy slide pins from the OEM website or even the dealer directly. They are they are selling me a whole carrier, which is very expensive. So I looked up a little bit more. I found that ATE makes these carriers and the entire brake system on my Skoda Octavia RS is ATE. And ATE actually sells these slide pins alone, standalone as a repair kit. So 
I reached out to ATE, figured out that, asked them, you know, do you, when you sell the repair kits, do you have a kit which has two slides in? Initially, they said, no, we don't have it. But then a little bit back and forth, they said, yes, we actually do sell a kit which has gives you two, two, of, the, two of the full metal slide pins without that clip or that plastic, uh, or plastic or rubber isolator. So, and that will solve your problem. They actually acknowledge it to me, always not over email, over a phone call that, yes, this does cause premature wear issues on the pads and and can actually warp the discs because the pad is constantly engaged with the disc on the on these cars. And they that's why they do sell a repair kit which has both metal slide pins eliminating that rubber grommet. As a result, I did order it and it's here. You can actually see it in the pictures right now. And I can't wait to install this. Now, that said, I did a lot more research to why is there, this is not a new problem. If I'm having it, I'm sure there are multiple people in the world who've had it. And behold, Misha Chaldrin, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right. He's a brilliant YouTuber. He's one of the Nürburgring racing, racing drivers as well as he has owned this race shop. He also noted the same issues in one of his videos. And it seen, I reached out to him and it seemed that on the all the no, cars that go on the Nürburgring, which are MQB based cars and have this particular 340mm brake setup, they actually do replace the pins. They replace both the, they replace the pin which has the rubber, rubber, rubber isolator and they replace it with a straight pin. And I cross reference my part numbers that I got from AT with, with them and they agreed that yes, these are the right part numbers, the same part numbers they use. And this takes away this weird characteristic of this particular caliper set of unevenly wearing the brake pads out even on normal use and eventually this grommet swelling and getting stuck. So I'll share the part number with you. I share where I got it from. You can just look it up online. You should be able to get it. And this will 99.99% solve all the brake pad wear issues and the brake pads warping the rotors premature, prematurely issues that you face with these 340mm rotors. So new things new found out i will also do one thing i'll we film the install process of this so i'll show you when i pull the old slide pin out where the grommet is and how do we install the new slide pins and there's a particular grease requirement which i'll put up on the screen again and this grease grease is highly recommended for these pins these are the oem grease don't use any aftermarket grease because these calipers are notorious for their you know their own own way so use the oem volkswagen grease that is on this or the part number i'll either put on the screen or on the in the comments and you will use this grease to put in these slide pins and hopefully no more issues hope you guys like this video it's been a long time and i intend to keep on putting these series out so as you have the community take care